Good morning and welcome to another week, another vlog week, the start of a new week. It's week number two and the date is Thursday the 10th of September. So with it being Thursday, I'm just on my way through to mum and dad's to take mum shopping as per. Um, but this morning when I was getting dressed, uh, I thought to myself, do you know what? I feel like dressing a little bit smart today. So I've put on a clean white shirt and a tie. There you go. And I've also got um, a little tie pin, which was made for me by a friend, Karen. Um, and the date on this coin, because the tie pin's made from an old English penny, one of the big ones. Um, and the date on it is um, 1868, which is exactly 100 years before my birth. So we couldn't find one for 1968, so we got one for 1868, and she turned it into a commemorative tie pin. So it's Victorian, so it's all very steampunk. <laughs> so I thought I'd pop that on today. Still searching. <laughs> Over the garden gate, look. Right, so that's mum safely back home. And now it's time for me to go and get my lunch. Whatever that is. So, when I said to Mum earlier, are you still searching? <laughs> when she was ferreting in a bag. It's because she couldn't find her purse. So, we'd already been through, um, done all the shopping. We'd got to the checkout. We'd unloaded all the shopping onto the conveyor. It had gone through the checkout and we'd bagged it. And the lady working on the checkout um, had said how much it was. And that's when mum went in a bag to try and find a purse and she couldn't find it. So we had a momentary, um, momentary panic when she couldn't find it. Um, she swore that she'd picked it up and put it in a bag, but when you suffer from little bits of memory loss like mum does, um, you take that with a pinch of salt really. So I paid for mum shopping. <laughs> so I paid for mum shopping and then when we got outside, um, we got to the car, um, I phoned dad and just said, can you just look to see if mum's purse is still there? So he had a quick look while I was on the phone and sure enough, um, she'd left it in in the lounge in the sitting room <laughs> so it's not the first time she's done it <laughs> Friday morning, coming up to lunchtime actually, and we've come out to a place called Fox Valley. This is where I normally bring mum shopping on a Thursday. Um, but we've picked mum and dad up because there's a bit of a market going on. <laughs> the three musketeers. Huey, <laughs> Chewy, and Louie. Yes. Right. <laughs> what are you waiting for? 
Eh? Hey. I'm struck if he answered you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the camera down, you'll see what he's waiting for. Oh, he's deposing. Oh, I'll she... just drop some in my tea. <laughs> <laughs> drop some of your biscuit in your tea. <laughs> it's messy. So Mr. Bentley's waiting for some chicken breast, look. Hello, you. Did you, did you, yeah, that's, oh, that'll leave, no, that'll be moist. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Have you had days when you wished you had an extra pair of hands? Really? Really? It's Tuesday, 15th, uh, about 10 a.m. And yesterday we spent most of the day filming Ian's Steampunk Tuesday project for today. So that's all done, edited and uploaded and scheduled, ready to go live at seven o'clock tonight. Uh, and I spent most of the day packing um, website orders ready for going to the post office today. Um, they'll be going after lunch because Ian's got a few packages that he needs to pass up this morning. So the whole of the post isn't quite ready to go yet. So, but it will be going today regardless. So that's a trip for this afternoon. So this morning, I'm just going down to um, one of the local supermarkets just to stock up because we've run out of bread and well, not run out of bread. We are going to be running out of um, bread in the next day or so. Um, and milk, which we've run out of. So I'm having to have black coffee um, because I don't like black tea. <laughs> so the weather's kind of calmed down a bit. It was roasting hot yesterday. I managed to get two lots of laundry done amongst everything else yesterday. Um, but today it's a little bit overcast, so not a very good laundry day today. So I've just been into one of our larger supermarkets. One of the supermarkets that um, at the beginning of lockdown, beginning of all this problem, with the coronavirus, um, I stopped going into because they'd just completely got it wrong. So I thought, well, it's been, what, six months since I last went in, which was March. Um, and I wondered whether or not they'd improved, got it better with the easing of the lockdown and quarantine restrictions, whether or not things had improved in there. They haven't. So it'll probably be another six months before I go back in. Turn that music off. So that's Tesco. Still getting it wrong. Well, at least the one where well, we are anyway, I can't say for other branches in other cities or areas. This one's certainly not got it right. I've brought Bentley somewhere new today. Look at that view. That is stunning. Right over to the windmills and far, far, far beyond. And there's Mr. Bentley. He's not sure what to do. He likes it here, but he's not sure whether he should run or not. You come for there. You're talking to me or the dog? I'm talking to both of you. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. And I think Mr. Bentley's comfortable as well. Must be nice. Snuggling with his daddy. Snuggling with the puppy. Yeah, you did it last week. Jokes are becoming repetitive now. <laughs> How long can <laughs> Oh, 
Cashier number five, please. Yes, we're going into a store called B&Q, big home store DIY place. What haven't set, Yes, haven't set foot in this place since March. <coughs> so this is going to be interesting. You're all comfy there, aren't you? Yeah, with Teddy. You're all comfy with Teddy on the settee. With Teddy. He is having a cuddle. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, having a cuddle. Yes, with a beautiful baby boy. <laughs> so you may be wondering what the moulding was for that I went to be in queue for this morning. Well. This is the decorative moulding that I purchased. I got um, two eight foot lengths. Now it's actually for this back wall here. So what I want to do is I want to put some of the decorative moulding along the wall here so it goes behind the bed and then out the other side to that wall there. The rest of the walls will get painted this kind of grey colour and then on this wall if I can just that's it um, you can see that it's going to get done a darker kind of greenish colour the exact shade I haven't really settled on just yet and then above the moulding I'm going to wallpaper now the wallpaper that I have is some William Morris wallpaper so I'll just turn the camera around in a second and I'll show you the wallpaper that I've got so there we go I can turn you around now so this is the William Morris pattern wallpaper that I've got to go on that wall there so it will come down probably in line with or just in line with the top of that lamp, that banker's lamp there and go up obviously all the way to the ceiling then you'll have the decorative moulding and then it'll be painted that kind of greeny colour below but it will be this wallpaper I've already got three rolls of this wallpaper um, in safe storage now I have actually got the matching bedding so when it's on it'll be wallpaper matching bedding but I've also got some other William Morris strawberry thief bedding as well which is my favourite William Morris pattern of all time and um, I've got that in bedding as well so the green when it's done will also match <laughs> with the colours on that bedding too so yeah hopefully now that we've been able to get into um, the DIY shop and actually buy the stuff it means the six month wait and hiatus because of the lockdown and the quarantine has now come to an end so we can start decorating and I'm not sure whether I'm going to be keeping those um, Alice in Wonderland framed quotes you can't see the, um, the quotes properly because of that burning in the ceiling there we go, hang on Probably too dark now. Yeah. So there's three different Alice in Wonderland kind of quotes. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be keeping those just yet. Who knows? Oh, please excuse the lump in the bed. It's Puppicus. He's decided to take himself off. There you go. There's the nose. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the weather today it's kind of nothing happening up there isn't it but at least some of the flowers have started coming out in the garden the clematis that we put in a while ago 
have started to flower. Look at those beauties. Simply stunning. So can you imagine the trellis all covered in those? Possibly in a year or two. <laughs> Just not right now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.